Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Do you guys use your crock pot a lot? I really love mine. I use my crock pot, my Instapot, because they're so convenient. You just dump everything in there, set it and forget it. So I thought I would show you guys today how I make French onion cube steaks in the crock pot. It makes a really delicious gravy. And some people get a little confused about what is cube steak. It's basically just the round steak, either the bottom round or the top round, and they slice it thin, and then he put, put it through like a tenderizing machine. So it, it makes it um, a lot more tender, even though you do have to cook it a little, uh, quite a while to make it that way. But in the crock pot, it, it comes out fork tender. It's so delicious. And um, there's also another thing called Salisbury steak. Some people think it's the same thing, but Salisbury steak is ground beef with seasonings and a gravy. So they're two different things. Um, I got this um, cube steak on sale for $6.99 a pound at the grocery store the other day, which uh, if you guys know meat prices, that's really good considering the ground beef was $8.99 a pound. Go figure. So I'll show you step-by-step step how to do it. It's basically just dump and go. You can cook it on low for eight hours or on high, high for five to six, but I did eight hours. And it, it, like I said, it comes out fork tender. The gravy's great. And you can put it on mashed potatoes or rice. So let's get cooking. You're gonna need one can of French onion soup, one can of cream of mushroom. I was so excited because I see now they have the unsalted. If you can find that, get that, or get the low sodium, but don't get the regular. It has too much sodium in it. And now I have one small can of sliced mushrooms. I actually put in two because we love mushrooms. Now also rinse and drain these two because they also have a lot of salt in them. One packet of au jus gravy mix. And you can use some fresh onion, but I had some frozen. So it's a half a cup um, of the diced chopped frozen onion. And now I just dump the onions in a bowl, added my drained and rinsed mushrooms, my packet of au jus gravy mix, my can of French onion soup, the can of cream of mushroom, and one cup of water. Now, when you stir it up, it'll look a little lumpy, but keep stirring and it will smooth right out. Now, you can use a liner in your crock pot, but mine's not stick, so I put half of the sauce in. And now I have four cube steaks, but feel free to get five or six because this makes a ton of sauce. And you can save the sauce and freeze it, the leftovers for a different recipe. So now just Put the rest of the sauce on top of the cube steaks and kind of just give it a little spread around so it's covering everything. And now you're just going to put your lid on. You're going to cook it on low for eight hours or if you're in a hurry, six hours on high. And I'm just cooking up some cube potatoes for my mashed potatoes. And now here it's been eight hours. And as you can see, the gravy is a little on the thin side. I like it thicker, so I took a tablespoon of cornstarch and three-fourths cup of water, and I just mixed that really well together, and I poured it in, and I let that cook for about 10 minutes on low, and it will thicken right up. See how much different it looks now? It's like the perfect gravy consistency. And that's all there is to it. So now let's plate it up and give it a try. It's really good with mashed potatoes, but it's also great with noodles or rice. And as you can see, it's so fork tender, you don't even need a knife. So I'm gonna give it a try. It was really good, you guys. I hope you're gonna try it. If you do, let me know. And it couldn't have been easier. Just set it and forget it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, everybody.